This is the second of two video segments on privacy settings and changes introduced to the Facebook platform during 2012. In our first segment, we run through how to access and manage sharing settings to control what you and others post on your Facebook timeline. This second segment explores the timeline in more detail and offers some tips on how to access your sharing options directly from it. The new timeline feature introduced by Facebook in early 2012 is probably one of the most significant interface changes to date. The timeline presents a user's past and present activity on the platform in chronological order, allowing other Facebook users to quickly view updates from specific dates. In the interests of managing your own privacy and reputation, it's probably worthwhile giving some thought to how much you share on Facebook or any other social media platform. Too many status updates, invites to events and apps might prove overwhelming or boring to friends. Oversharing information on a regular basis can create an activity pattern of your personal or professional life, allowing others to build a fairly accurate picture of your interests, where you've been and what you've done, and, more seriously, where you'll be on future dates, at what time and who with. Detailed information about you could be of interest to anyone with more malicious intent, such as social engineering, identity theft, or worse. After logging into your Facebook account, you would normally be presented with a view of your current newsfeed. To view your timeline, simply click on your username or favicon. This new interface opens on your current status, but allows you to scroll down and through your previous updates by individual post or even by specific year. And by searching for another user, you can look through their timeline history in the same way. Back on your own timeline, you can create and edit individual updates, highlight them to be more prominent, or hide them on the timeline, or delete them entirely. When creating an update, you can quickly select or limit who you want to share it with, and decide if you're comfortable with sharing your current location by geotagging the update. At the top of the timeline, you can access a shortcut to update your profile information and see an itemised list view of your account activity via the new activity log. Items in this list will have various editing and sharing options, depending on the privacy settings you apply to your account. In this example, we have a pending notification that we've been tagged in a post from another user, but the post isn't yet visible on our timeline. Allowing it to be visible will depend on whether we approve or dismiss it in the activity log. If you want to build your Facebook audience rather than restrict it, you can control and make it easy for anyone to follow just your public updates without adding them as a friend on Facebook. To do this, go to your account settings in the main pull-down menu top right of screen, select subscribers from the list and check the allow subscribers button. If you've finished your Facebook session on a shared or public computer, it's always good practice to log out.